Hello guys and welcome back to another Raft modding video. Today I'm going to be showing off the new mod loader which has just come out, which is significantly different from the last mod loader which I've been using in my videos, and so that's why I'm going to be making a short video on this one. There'll be a link in the top of the description which will show the way to this page, and this shows the current latest version of the mod loader as it's updated. Um, there are also previous versions down here if you're using outdated mods. So I'm going to install this, and this will load down here, and when I run it, Windows is going to get a little bit upset with me because it's thinking that this might harm my PC. Um, I know it's not going to, but that's down to you whether you want to run it. After I run it, it's going to um, load up Raft. Now if it doesn't load up Raft straight away, um, it will ask you to identify where Raft is. So all you have to do is navigate through your folders and files until you find where Raft is located open it and then you'll never have to do that again. So here we can see the new mod loader and um, it's changed a lot since my previous videos. We have new buttons at the top which will work. We now have a news tab and then we have two other little buttons with room for more later. So to start with the home one we've got the latest news and these are just placeholders for now. Um, but what will happen is when new mods come out, if a new update has come out, um, or any small or big changes, they'll be posted here. And then whoever has published it, um, you'll be able to see in the bottom right here. We then also have the buttons at the top. So for example, if I press the website button, it will take me to the Raft website. And if I go back to my game and I open up the Discord, for example, it will give us the Discord link here. I'm already part of it, so it hasn't given it to me. But if you aren't part of it, then it will be there. So all of these buttons work at the top. And then we have the mod manager. So I have an example mod already into my modding folder. But this uh, is very similar to last time with a few small changes. We have our load and unload buttons like last time. Uh, and we have our tick boxes. But this time um, it will display a title, a description and a current status. So before all we got was a name and whether we currently had it enabled. So now we can see whether it is currently loaded. We can see a small description, which if we mouse over, it will show you the entire description and then the name. We also have a new button up here, which allows you to select all of your mods or unselect all of your mods. So say you have a long list instead of going through individually and unticking them all if you wanted to play vanilla or going through and ticking all of them. If you wanted to play with every mod that you had installed, you can just use a simple tick box. So to test, um, I can simply tick this one and load the selected one and this status now changes to loaded. If I unload it, it will unload it. If I load it, it will reload it. Now to test whether this has worked, we can press F10 to bring up the console and here we can see that it has been loaded and it's all been registered. So we now know that the backup mod has worked. Here it's saying unloaded because uh, I did a load and then unload, but here it has loaded. So we can close that. So now what we can also do, which we couldn't do before, is if we press F9, it will bring up the mod loader. So this saves us from quitting and reopening our game like we used to have to. So this is just a small little feature, which is good. This is coming towards the end, but this it will this this will be changing. Uh, it's subject to change. Buttons will be moving. Colors will be changing. There'll probably be new things added. And so if you're watching this at a later date, Everything will be similar, but little things will be moved around. Thank you for watching.